So you are using it as a replacement of these three things. When you don't have anything to understand, right, or you don't have the understanding, then you have, don't have, you know, this, you know, something to do in relationship, really. And when you have nothing meaningful to do with human being or with rest of nature, then you want to pass your time and you switch on the TV. Same thing with the children. <coughs> they want to do meaningful things. They want to understand things. They want to ensure feeling in relationship. All that is required for any children that we have. They may not have the strength in the body to do certain physical things. That is the only difference. Like the very old people. But other things are same. In fact, we have not even treated the children and equally, not treated them with respect. Now if you start, now if you understand this, what is the difference between the children and an old man?
uh, with so much of uh, nutritional values <coughs> being pictured well. So I photocopied that, uh, at least managed to come up with a color picture, and then went and silently put it under the pillow of my kids. And then, <laughs> that was the experiment I tried. And then they came up uh, with this picture showing that, Dad, what is this, what has happened, and then, uh, then I said that this is the consequences of not having enough food for them. And then that actually worked. But uh, I forgot that. And then I was wasting a bit of the rice. And then suddenly my youngest daughter said, that, Father, what is this? Is it okay? Can you remember it? <laughs> 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 sometimes, sometimes, sometimes children also teach you. Teach you a lot. Teach you a lot. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> this is exactly the, you know, case that if you try with the children, right? You get better results with the children than with yourself. And very soon, they will start reminding you of what you are doing. Giving uh, toys to the children is just diverting them. <coughs> you can give better things to them. You can give them understanding, you can give them feeling. You can give them something meaningful to do. And if you do that, they will find it more you know, fulfilling than just the toys. So I will now expand on this self. That is, we are talking to talk about harmony in this self now. So you look at the self, and if you try to <coughs> look into the two kinds of things, when we call it force or power, the other we call it activity. Then we can see, which we have already said, These three things we have mentioned already, the desire, the thought and the expectation. These three things can be seen in the self and if you try to understand what it means, then you can see them in terms of the activities associated with it. When you say desire, it means activity of imaging. When you say thought, it means activity of analyzing. And when you say expectation, it means equivalent to activity of selecting on the basis of this. So you have imaging, making an image right, of what you want to be, that is desire. Then analyzing, that is working out the details of how to ensure this image, ensure this fulfillment of this image. And number three, making selections in terms of what I will do 
with the rest of the world through my body. So, I will tell you with an example. Like desire for happiness. Everybody would desire for happiness, right? So you have an image okay, of a healthy human being. So desire means imaging for a happy human being. But that's not where you stop. What do you do? You try to analyze how happiness can be ensured. <coughs> how you will ensure happiness. That analysis you make. Right? This analysis is what is called thought. For example, you think that if you get good sensation through your body right, by eating rasulla or any such thing, right, anything tasty, you will become happy. Or if you get respect from other people, right, by wearing very good dress or buying a new car, you will be happy. All that analysis you are doing, right? <coughs> then you don't stop there. You make selection and testing on the basis of this analysis. That is, you pick up, you know, buy, go and buy a rasgulla, right? And eat the rasgulla. If you have decided that you can get happiness out of the sensation, right? From outside. <coughs> So these are the three things you continue to do. One, desiring, you know, or making an image of becoming a happy person. Then trying to work out the details of how happiness can be ensured, the analyzing, the thought. Then finally, making the selection, right? Selecting and tasting to fulfill that process. These three things you are doing. What do you feel? All these three things are done. First, imaging, then analyzing, then selecting and testing. So when you have decided to eat a rasgulla, you know, you have bought a rasgulla and you have put it in your mouth, right? Before that, this has taken place. Before that, this has taken place. Right? All this put together is what is called imagination. So this whole thing put together is called imagination. Yeah, we will see. When we look into this imagination that we have, it may be based on reality, it may not be based on reality. If it is not based on reality, it will turn out to be a fantasy. If it is based on reality, then it is not a fantasy, right? It is something meaningful that you have to do. That is where the question of understanding of reality is important. Right? That this desire, thought and expectation, are they guided by understanding or guided by the influence from outside? But if you look into yourself, what do you think? All this is taking place in you? All the time? Or it is not taking place in you, or it is not continuous. Yeah. 
itself. They are, it, is, it appears to be automatic. Whether it is automatic or not is what we have to slowly investigate. But presently it seems to be automatic, right? It is just going on from one imagination to another imagination, you know. You go on moving. Isn't it? You go on moving from one imagination to another imagination. We have a very famous serial, you know, in India. It is called Mungeri Lal Ke Hasin Sapne. You have heard of it? It is about a person who is a pune in the office, right? And he is sitting outside the office on the table, on the bench, on a stool, right? And then he takes off. One imagination. He is going there, doing something, this, that, you know, he becomes the king or something. So out of this 30 minutes, you know, first one minute he is aware that he is sitting outside the office on the stool. Right? Then next 28 minutes he is taken off. Last one minute, again he realizes that he is sitting on the stool, right? Okay. And there are a lot of stories, you know, interesting stories about his imagination. What do you think about yourself? Do you have these imaginations one after the other? Or it is different for you? So if you start looking at it in one and a half an hour of this session, right? How many stories you have created? <laughs> How many times you take off this class? What do you think? What is the average? One and a half an hour. When I am saying something, you listen to it, right? Start thinking of something and then you take off for something else, right? <laughs> then after five minutes you come back and you start searching. What is being talked about? That is why I decided to use the board rather than that projection, you know. Because the problem with the projection is that one slide is gone, it is gone, right? It is not there. And now when you come back after five minutes, you would not know what is being talked about. It. <laughs> so I have to put the board, you know, write it on the board, leave it there, leave it for three days. So that even if you come back after three days. <laughs> <coughs> it is there. So I have to put them in the board and I put them in the serial order. Right? Otherwise you will misinterpret, right? And if I change the order, I will write the number here. You know? All this is required because you keep taking off. <laughs> what is the frequency? What do you think? Out of this one and a half hour, how many times you take off? <coughs> Five times. Any other person? More than five. Yes. As frequent as possible. Possible is very high. The possibility is very high. In fact, in one minute, you can create the whole story. In India, we have a lot of such stories. I mean, if you just take off for one minute, you can create so much of stories. You have become the king and the ruler and this and that, you know, and then you have punished someone and so on. <laughs> All this taking revenge, you know, and you have put him in the hell. <laughs> and the last hell, you know, the bottom of the hell. All this. <laughs> In one minute you can do so many things, you know. So in terms of possibility, you know, in one and half an hour means 90 minutes. You can make at least 90 stories. Do you do it? No, you don't do it. More or less, that's, you know, not important. But you go on imagining things, one after the other. Does it happen? Does it not happen? Happen. It happens in everyone? Yes. Now, do you do it voluntarily or it just comes? It just comes. 
Yeah. You also start dreaming that you are not dreaming. It's very interesting, you know, if you start looking at the cell, such an interesting phenomenon. Like many people say, you know, when you get angry, Ask him, why did you get angry? He'll say, just come. I didn't want to get angry. It happened. Right? Now where did it happen? It happened in the cell or outside? It happened in the cell. Then who is responsible? So you don't even take the responsibility that you got angry. <laughs> <laughs> then you will, you know, take for some cause, you know, some X. Because of the X, I got angry. Now, this X did something or said something, right? That is all. But you became angry. So he gave you some input. Huh? That is all. But this anger, this material for anger, was already there inside you. So if you put a light there, yes, it explodes. So where is the material? Inside or outside? Inside. 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 The person outside is just showing the match. Putting <laughs> the matches, you know, in your explosion, in your explosive material. And this explosive material is already there inside you. As I was asking, when do you shout at the child? When you are comfortable with him or uncomfortable with him? Uncomfortable with him, right? So this anger or shouting has come out of this uncomfortability which is there within you. The child has only brought it out. What do you think the child is responsible? <laughs> so child is helping you, right? To show you your status of being. <laughs> so now you can see a whole lot of this is going on in you. And you are not even aware of it. <coughs> In fact, this issue of conscious and subconscious is simply this. All that is going on here in you and you are aware of it, you call it conscious. All that is there, you know, going on in you and you are not aware of it, you are calling it subconscious. And whatever is subconscious in you, you can become aware of it and it will become conscious. The fact that we have not been paying attention to ourselves, there is a whole lot of it in subconscious, right? Because I am not aware of it. And out of this, which is there in it, some imagination is taking place, some decision is taking place, you know, and something keeps coming out of it. Okay? And you don't even know from where it is coming. So a lot of this issue of behavior and work, which comes out of this at the level of body, is out of this imagination, a decision taken place in this imagination. That this behavior and work how, you know, is coming out at the level of body and you are not even aware of it. But if anything you do in terms of behavior with human being or work with rest of nature, is it your decision or it just happens? What do you think? You decide for it or it happens without your decision? Unconsciously. 
Yeah. You are taking the decision here. But because you are not aware of it, you are not even aware of the decision you have taken. Eh? Now just imagine that unconscious state, you know, of the subconscious state of your being. So you are taking decisions. 